Hi there, this is Serge at Delphix, and in this video, we will take a closer look at Delphix masking. The modern organization manages data subject to strict data privacy laws. The need to protect sensitive customer financial and employee information is paramount. Delphix provides a platform solution to find sensitive data across enterprise systems, then transform the data into fictitious yet realistic data while preserving referential integrity. Enterprises that adopt Delphix comply with regulations and mitigate the risk of data breaches. I will show you Delphix's powerful masking capabilities that are based on your security or complying policies in two steps. First, I will show you how to profile your data to determine what is sensitive. In the second part of this demo, we will see how to mask the sensitive data you identified during the profiling process. Let's log in into Delphix Masking Engine as an administrator. Only admin users can create and run a profiling job. In Delphix Masking, you can create masking job in the Environment tab. But first, we're going to click on Settings to profile sensitive data. You can use the profiler to scan your data on column names and data content to check for sensitive data using regular expressions. The Delphix Masking Engine can use predefined profiles, or you can add your own. A profiler set is a collection of profiles with a common purpose, such as implementing a particular policy. Delphix Masking comes with predefined profiler sets. Let's take a look at the financial profiler set. You can see that we've identified a set of sensitive fields types for masking. You can also create your own profiler set and profiles. Start by clicking on Add Set. Let's call our new profiler set Anti-Fraud. We can select as many expressions as we need for this application. Let's select the credit card expression. Click Submit to create the profile. Now we can go to the Environments tab where you will see all the applications where we can apply our profiles. They can include CRM, human resources, and other applications. An application's data can be customized for each environment or user group in the organizations where they will be used, such as development, reporting, testing, etc. Let's select the development environment. The first step is selecting the tables or fields you want to analyze. A rule set defines the table or fields you will be working with. Click on the rule set. Select the national identifier rule set to see what it looks like. You can see all the tables we've chosen to scan for national ID. Now, let's create a rule set of our own. Click on the rule set tab. You can create your own rule set for each environment. Simply enter a name and select a connector to connect to the source database to create the rule set. Here you can see the rule set that's been created for the development environment. We'll click the overview tab and get back to our development project. We're going to take a look at the profile CRM job which we've already created. This job uses the national identifier rule set to specify the tables we're profiling and the financial profile set to specify the data we're looking for. We can click on the profiler button to create a new profiler job. Let's call our job profile JDPR and we will select a rule set for customers and we will select a profiler set for JDPR. It's that simple. Now let's run the profile CRM job. And we can also go and monitor the job execution in our monitor tab. By clicking the job name, we have access to all the details of that job. And as we can see, it has succeeded and we can click on the results tab of that job and we can see that we've scanned 220 tables and found 125 fields being sensitive. Now let's see how we can mask these sensitive fields with Delphix masking. 
Let's go to the CRM application, which has the data we want to mask. As you can see, we're currently looking at Jennifer Meekim's contact information. This is what the data looks like before we transform it. We've already profiled the sensitive data in our app. Now let's select the development environment to continue to mask it. Let's create a new masking job. Select the masking button Give your job a name, then we'll pick up the masking method in place and we'll select the national identifier rule set. Save your job. Now let's see what the mask CRM structure masking job looks like. We can see that it's doing in place masking using the customer rule set. Hey, let's run this job. So you run the job by selecting the play button under the action column. And as you can see, the job is currently running and it has succeeded. Let's go to the sample CRM application to see the results. Refresh the page to see what happened after the masking job is run. Here you see name, mobile, and addresses have all changed after masking. Credit card number has been tokenized, which means it can be reversed if required. Masking can be done consistently across time, different schemas, data source types, and data centers. We have shown you the Delphix masking engine can profile and mask data based on your organization's policies within a few minutes. These capabilities give you the power and flexibility to protect sensitive data in your organizations automatically for regulatory compliance. You can choose pre-built masking algorithms or build your own that suits your business needs. In addition, Delphix masking is integrated with virtualization so you can access and operate on masked datasets seamlessly. To learn more about Delphix, please contact us. Thanks for watching.